Good evening, everybody. Gina T. Natale here. Um, in light of God directing me to share these messages with you from Psalms about um, a lot about David being surrounded by his enemies um, and him calling out to help and David being a faithful seeker of God's heart. Um, I just wanted to share the message out of my mess with you that God laid on my heart to bless those that curse you because it was making me upset and sick and afraid and just not wanting to deal with this. And when you're under attack, when people are using weapons that you can't see, how do you fight them? So it was making me disgusted. And as my relationship is flourishing again with the Lord, and the messages from pastors and preachers and radio and praise and worship music. It's just making me sad that I didn't turn to God sooner. And when I walked away, there was just a lot of things and anger that I was going through, um, asking God why certain things had happened in my life. And um, like I said, receive and believe. And when you start to pray and pray for your enemies and just pray in general, um, you know, God looks upon you and he's happy with you that you're seeking his word and his direction and he is joyful and he gives us joy and we rejoice in that. And he knows the plans that he has for us, as it says in Jeremiah 29. So today, I just want you to let you know that I am under attack by the enemy because the more I pray, and then the wicked are around everywhere. And I am physically being attacked with zaps, shocking radiation. And um, I can't make this up. I would prefer to go back to my life the way it was. But somebody decided to take assault on me is why I don't know. Um, I have no idea. And there's a lot of people that like to drive around and zap you. Today I had to drive around a lot today. And everywhere I went, I got shocked. They followed me at the... the car place for parts. They followed me to Belton. They followed me to wherever, wherever I was. I don't know some of the cities. Grandview, where the area is where my brother lives. Um, they're always, someone's, or lots of someone's are always following me. At least they're not using the same car three times to follow me. But right now I'm under attack. Every car that passes, every truck that comes in the lot, the drills are happening in the back of the house. I don't know if they're radiating me with a gun or they're unzipping the gate, which I want to do because I'm fed up, but I have to trust in the Lord and know that his word is true. I do know his word is true. I do know that he is faithful. I know that I am under his protection and they're shocking me right now. They shocked me when they came here. This big black truck shocked me. I just, I, I don't get it. And um, maybe it's just not for me to get. And I went through a lot of things the past four years. And um, I, I'm, I wished that I did turn to God, but there was so much anger in my heart and I didn't know how to forgive and asking God why and not knowing why. And sometimes he won't tell us why things happen. And maybe he'll tell us when we get to heaven and maybe he won't. And some people are so faithful and I, I admire them for a, bad things that they also have gone through. I, I know other Christian brothers and sisters that kept the faith through really bad, horrible times. And that's wonderful. And I, I don't know how they did it. I am sorrowful that I didn't, but I am grateful that this terrorism that started August 15th and before August 15th, however it is, I was exposed to something that, you know, you don't just wake up one day and feel shocked, but I did. I got in my car and I was being shocked a little bit before August 15th, a shock here and a shock there. And I'm like, something wrong with my car, as I explained in day one. And, um, I'm sorry that this is happening and I'm sorry for the people who are doing this to me. I don't know, you know, I've been blessed with so many people along the way in my trials and tribulations. So I, I do I have enemies? Probably. 
Um, like I said, I expanded my platform on the YouTube channel. And then once I started a discussion, how grateful I am that I am back in God's arms and he didn't turn away from me. And he came to protect me when I was in the psych facility at JFK North because I was terrified that no one was for me. And I don't know what the plans of terrorism are from here. Um, they hurt me every day. The black truck right outside, the red truck here hurt me. They shocked me. So I just wanted to share that I am still under attack. And the more you pray and pray over your family, the devil is going to come to steal, steal, kill, and destroy. And I am amongst the wicked. And I'm hoping that there are more angels coming around me. God's armies are protecting me. And I don't know what the end of this will be. I don't know what's in my body. Um, I couldn't be more clearer and saner. And I'm thankful to God for everything. I'm thankful that he made no way for me but to come to Missouri and spend time with my family that I haven't in a lot of years. And for whatever purpose he has for this plan, it'll be for his glory. And like I said on the discussion that I just put out after all the cars started coming around, shocking me um, out here and behind the street on Landview, they're drilling something in the wall, the fence behind me, or they're radiating me with a gun. And um, I, I just, I don't understand this, but I know God knows and I know it's true and you know it's true. Um, and the 123 views, I hope you're getting God's message. I hope that whatever he told me to share, to bring to you so that I don't become bitter. I wanna have a, a, a new relationship with God and this is what I'm going to continue to do till the last breath that is in me. Um, so it's June 17th and it is 10, 922. And um, like I said, bless those that curse you. I, I don't want to be cursing them with my mouth and filthy words that used to come out of me because it made me sick. I want to be a better person. I want to be acceptable to God. I was, he, he didn't have to come back to me. And it's not that I have to go back to the word or be back. But I, I like I told you, it, it hurt me so bad to not be able to praise and worship. And when his songs came on that touched my heart and give him praise, it was, it was so hurtful because those, I didn't have that praise in my heart because of the anger that I have, but he washed it all away. And I'm grateful. And I'm sorry that the black truck out here and the blue truck that just went around the corner about 17 minutes ago and the red truck just zapping the crap out of me. I'm sorry that you feel you have to hurt people or people are paying you to hurt me. And I don't know why. And all the rest of you that followed me to Belton, followed me to the car place and back and forth and in Grandview that shocked me when you passed me. God bless you. God forgive you. May you turn to Jesus and call him as your Lord and Savior. Believe and receive so that you can have the joy that I have. And I just wanted to share this with you and know that you're under God's protection after you receive and believe. And not that I, I've said it six days already, not that you're not going to come under attack and there's not going to be valleys and you'll get to the mountaintop again and the valleys will come, but he'll make a way. And it is our choice if we want to continue the relationship and fellowship with him. It is the best place to be. And like I said, it is the best company you can have. He is faithful. He's true. His word is alive and living. He promises us everything that we can have here on earth before we get to heaven. So, like I said, every time I share the truth, I come. everything comes under attack. But again, my peace is in God. So I don't know how the shocks are going to stop. It's not neurological. I don't know who or what did who or what to me. I don't know. Um, but I'm sorry that you did. And may you find peace and come to God because you won't have peace. God says the wicked shall have no peace. So I hope that your conscience leads you to Jesus so that you can have peace and not hurt people anymore. And I'm sorry that you're hurting 
as you're hurting other people. And you're with your children sometimes sticking your hand in your bag, slickfully trying to shock me. That's between you and God, dear. So I just wanted to share this message and uh, just a, a praise and a rejoice and a thankfulness that he's all around. He knows and sees everything. But the world is in the palm of his hands. Hallelujah. Have a good night. And... Um, I hope maybe you talk to God before you go to sleep and uh, he meets you where you are and provides whatever your needs are now. And um, he is faithful and he will, he will do what he says he does in his word. Seek the kingdom of God and um, just trust him. Trust him. Just trust him. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful evening. Um, sleep well. Peace be with you. And... What can I say? That's it. That's everything I wanted to share with you this evening. And um, thank you for continuing. I hope you listen to the messages that God brings forth. And I hope you get something out of it. I truly hope you do. Good night. Peace out.